Hello community! Today we have a preview of a brand new LLM by the company Fireworks.ai. And we know their company, you know, if you go to their homepage, you know, you have the, the model library, go from hype to high value AI. And we know that they host quite a lot of different models, 142 models. But you know what, if they now develop their own model, their F1 preview, this should be a breakthrough in complex reasoning with a compound AI. And it was published just five days ago. So now, now we're going to have a look at this and we have an extreme logic test. And you know this test because I want that all the different models are tested with the same test. So here I tested here OpenAI 01 Strawberry with the logic test. And here you have Claude Sonnet and Gemini 1.5 Pro. And in my last video, I showed you with the same test that we tested OpenAI01, the DeepSeek, the R1 Lite here, the reasoning model by DeepSeek. But now, now we're going to jump into the brand new Fireworks F1, the new breakthrough in complex reasoning. Let's start with the logic test. So here we are, we are at Fireworks AI and we try here this preview version of F1. And this is exactly here my extreme logic test. And you see here we have the task, we have all the clues, 15 clues, 14 clues. And then here we go. Yeah, we are live. So let's see how F1, the preview version, is doing. As you can see, before my extreme logic test, yes, this is the background, the artifacts, the elements, and those are the clues and my instruction. Use the clues to deduct the correct association, provide a detailed explanation, and present your final answer here in a clear organized format, for example, a table or a list. This is the simple task. As you see, contrary to my last videos where we looked here at OpenSeq, we do not see the augmentation, the syncing. But as you see, we see here what? What are we seeing? Let's have a look. Where's the beginning? Here. Step by step, yeah, okay, deductions and connection, deep dive. Okay, just three bullet points. And this is the solution, wow, unformatted and un everything. Oh, it's not ready, look. Show me the final result, no comments, no argumentation. I just want the final result in a table. Yes, here we go. This is the final result, organized, yeah. One, two, one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, yes. Oops, note, there was a mix-up in the familiar of Dorn and Brindor. The correct familiar for Dorn is the unicorn. Now let's have a look at our clues and you will see, uh-oh, there is some problem. There is something wrong because the crystal of time, this is wrong. Okay, verification run. Let's do the verification run. I say, okay. Now run a verification of the result, be as precise as possible, explore each permutation and each path of a logic deduction to its very end, and then show me the final result. Then you compare this final evaluation with your first result and simply go. And you see, I have here just in time, so this is what we had. And now we are waiting. Oops, this was fast. Okay, this was fast. So here we are. Let's verify the final result. So this was the initial result. Here we have the verification process. Okay, correct. Point two, correct. Crystal time, five, correct. Six, correct. Seven, correct. Everything is correct. That's unbelievable. Eight is correct. Nine is correct. 10 is correct. <laughs> 11, 12, correct. 13, correct. 14, correct. No, this, uh-oh, okay, no. Hey, look, there's something else. The only correction, there was a correction. So the final verified result is this. So let's compare this here now. And as you can see here, the Tom of Secret is not helped by the Wizard of Avalon. It's wrong. It's wrong. Again. Oh, come on. Yeah, Avalon is correct. This is not correct now. So let's do a third run. A third run. Here we go. I say, okay. Now verify this corrected and uh, evaluated result in a different logical analysis. Try new perspective in logical deduction or invent a more effective way to validate your result. Then you can also use a code implementation to maybe find a more stringent logical representation of this extreme logic test with the code of your choice. C++, Python, Go, whatever you like. Just go and show me what you can do. So, in the best of both worlds, we would have now a logical deduction here in language. 
And then, if this is really a gorgeous system, in the second part we should see that this system tries to code here a simple, let's say, if-then. Oh, yep, yep, that looks good, that looks good, wait, that was too fast. So, what, 7000 tokens per second, okay. Let's go back, let's go back, let's go back, here we go, yep, 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 so here we are, okay. Certainly, let's verify the corrected evaluated result using a different logical analysis and then I provide a Python code implementation to evaluate the results programmatically. Nice! Okay, let's have a grid set up. Okay, this is the grid. Okay, yes, one, two, three, yes, seven. And then we have to 14 clues. Grid update, grid update, grid update. Okay, he's trying to go through this. Okay, applies now the clues to the grid. What are the possible artifacts? What are the possible fields of magic? Okay, possible artifact, crystal of time. Yeah, okay. Interesting what is happening here. Okay. But yeah, it's the next logical step, the, like the, an easy step if you want. Yeah. Okay, so what is the result? Show me the result. Yeah, I believe you have done everything. Yes. 14 steps. Beautiful. Tomb of Secret, not Avalon. Yes, not Avalon. Oh, no, Avalon. Oh, no, you see it immediately that this is wrong. Yeah. Oh, come on. The Tomb of Secret is not helped by the Wizard of Avalon. This is wrong again. Okay, but now the Python run. Now the Python run. Yes, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. This is beautiful. So what it does, it defines here the realms, the artifact, the field of magic, and the familiars. Beautiful. And then we have a function. Is valid solution? Okay, it's coding. This is nice. Clue 1 is encoded. Okay, clue 2 is encoded. Nice. Clue 3. Oh, clue 4 is something missing. So we say continue. I think this is the maximum output length. Maybe 8K or something like this. I don't know. But we have an interrupt with 7,000 tokens per second. But there's something happening. So continue. So I hope it will continue now with clue 4. Show me the rest from clue 4 to clue 14. The preview version of F1 at, from Fireworks AI. Okay, yeah. Wait a second, wait a second. Come on, come on, come on. Let's go back. So, continue. Okay, this is my continue. Certainly, let's continue. Okay, we start code implementation continued. No, this is the beginning again. Look, this is the first validation function. Clue 1, clue 2, clue 3, clue 4. Okay, at least we have now clue 5 and clue 6, clue 7 and clue 8. Okay, now it's complete. 9 and clue 10. Scroll down, clue 11, yeah, clue 12, clue 13, yeah, one more, clue 15, yeah, okay, and then generate all possible solutions. Wow, a permutation, I said a permutation, it goes with my permutation solution, print valid solution, if not, break. Explanation of the code, nice, okay, I didn't ask for that. Define the set, validation function, yeah, generate permutation. All possible permutation of a 7 times 4 matrix. Oh, wow. Print validation, running the code. When you run the code, it will output a valid solution. What? When you run the code, it will output a valid solution. The output should match the final verified evolution. What do you mean it should match? What is run the code? I want to have the result. Yeah, run this Python code, please. I don't want that you have a... You look in the future and you say, maybe it could be the same. No. He says, sure, I can help with that. <laughs> I say, run that Python code you just created for my extreme logic test. I mean, comes back and asks me what Python code to run. I mean, <laughs> hello, F1, where are you? Are you there? Yeah, okay. So, Run the Python code you just created for the extreme logic test, and we are live. We are live, but somewhere I decided then, look, should match this. Yeah, okay. What, what, what happened here? Running the code? Yeah, running the code is good. Why we stop at close 7? Continue. Let's continue. Oh, it's such a limited output space. Come on, that's not possible. I mean, 16,000 tokens per second, and... 
It just can go seven clues before it hits a hard limit. Come on. Yeah, continue. You'll see it here in real time. And uh, what happened now? Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's scroll back. Where are we? Where are we? No, 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 no. Here we are. Continue. Okay. Let's continue with the Python code and ensure it runs the completion. Yeah, we start all over again from the beginning. No clue one, clue three. No. Okay, clue six, seven, eight, ten. Yes, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Yes, we are final. Yeah, this is the complete code. Yes, congratulation. Running the code. Yeah, here we go. Running the code. Let's run the code. Yes, let's run the code. Hello, can you run the code? This is just the same and we stop again at clue six. I say continue, but I have no hope, honestly. But let's see, there's 6,000 tokens per second and it stops at clue six. Come on. It would be so interesting to have a little bit more here of an attention window. So I will already prepare the next one. So I execute the code you just created for the solution and show me the result. I want the result. I don't want to see the code again. No, you see, it stopped again. No, let's... Okay, last time we tried that this can run code. I don't know. This is the very first touch on Fireworks F1. Maybe I do something wrong, of course. And they said it's a preview version, so this is not the final version. This is just the preview. Yeah, so let's run the code. And yes, and yes, yes, running the code. And show me that it stops at clue six. Okay. Is there any reason why you cannot execute this code segment? Huh, buddy? Tell me. What's happening here? Maybe it's my mistake. I'll need to see the code segment you're referring to. <laughs> oh, come on. <laughs> no. Okay. Okay. No problem. Here I copy the code. I copy here Python. Copy the code. Yes. Beautiful. I insert the code. Maybe there's no buffer, maybe there's no memory. Okay, no problem. I insert here the code. Yes, everything. Let's check. From ether tools, permutation define. Yeah, function is valid solution. Clue one, two. You know it's 15 now. Yeah, you see. And then generate all possible solutions. Oh, yeah, all the possible permutations. Okay, let's run this. And now, now, now we will be successful. No fireworks. What do you mean? <laughs> it stopped at clue six. It's not running the code, I think. Okay. I okay. Maybe I do something wrong. Maybe the system has a preview bug or a preview loop. Okay. I mean, it created a code, which is great. It created a code, but it can't execute the code. I don't know the reason why, but never mind. We just want to do this now external. I just open here in Google here. Very simple. I copy the code. You see, this is my code. Oh, yeah, maybe I should finish here with the code. And you know what? A little free collab. This should be real easy. Let's say this is it. Go. Allocating runtime, connecting to Python 3, Google Compute Engine. Yes. And, and, and then, and then something happened. Then it happened that I had to wait 10 minutes. So I cut the 10 minutes out and you are now live with me at 11 minutes. And it's still running because I looked closer at the code and it's calculating more than 100 million permutations. So never ever. So... Let's have a look at here. Look, here they say chat F1 86, okay. Cloud 3.4 Sonnet 85.2 and O1 preview 90. So for the chat, it should be better than Cloud 3.5 Sonnet. Well, yeah, but for the mathematical reasoning, you can see it is behind both Sonnet and uh, OpenAI O1. Okay, my little fireworks AI. F1 preview. This is it. This was a first encounter. It was not really a test, but I think on three runs it failed three times. It created some code, but the code was not executable. And the code, if I tried to execute it, was a permutation code that would have run for hours, if not days. Okay, I hope you have a first idea. This was Fireworks.